you pull up on your black and have a little fool them do you dirty, man. You know, man, put my fat seven out, man. Put my clock out, 40 shot stick, about to tap out. But on pyro, I, I get a tour with anybody, and I love that sh I love smoke, and I love to smoke by myself. I'm just trying to figure out, oh, I just want, I just want, I, on pyro, I just be waiting on somebody to say they want that smoke. On video, somebody gonna be somebody there real quick. And, and I pick up a gun and kill somebody, it ain't that hard. 19-year-old Antoine Montgomery and 20-year-old DeAndre Jennings are charged with first-degree and attempted murder and armed robbery. There are some stories that truly show you the harsh nature of the world. These stories make you question if you can truly trust the people that hang around you. That show you right, Chip. If you out here playing, that's the type of dude they got out here playing. Some dudes don't play, so you got to really, really be careful. Like, that dude is ready to crash out. He ready to crash right now. Today's story in particular fully exposes how the street culture is never worth getting involved in. The subject of today's video is not only accused of killing his ops, but also innocent people and his own close friends and family members that they committed crimes with. The subject of today's video truly shows you how there are no morals in the streets. People will violate the code at any time if it's to their benefit. The subject of today's video is not other than 800 Little Fats, and today we're going to be telling his story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. 800 Fats, real name DeAndre Jennings, is from the south side of Chicago, more specifically 61st and Cottage Grove. He is a member of the gang 800. 800 might just be the most hated gang in Chicago. 800 has beef throughout the whole city and snaked most of the other gangs that they were cool with. Some of the main sets that 800 beefs with are Face World 069, Mix Mob, Taekwon World, Jaro City, STL slash EVT, Pocket Town, 051 Young Money, Murder Town, MOB, and TYMB. Fats is a remorseless demon. He once bragged on camera about shooting an op's pregnant family member, causing them to have an abortion. My family members got shot in their stomach and had to abort their baby, all type of shit. Prior to the murders that he's arrested for, Fats hinted on an IG Live that he had killed five different people. There's a lot of speculation about... Let me tell you about these kind of guys. See, he's saying all that, but that dude got a heart. He just acting like that. He putting on an act for the streets. But deep down inside, he got a heart. But he got to put on that act. That pride for the streets that you got to put on? Man, boy, that'll get you a thousand years in jail. <laughs> you better change your life, man. Real talk. Just pay attention to that story. Who these people are, so I'm only going to cover the ones that he's most heavily linked to in this video. Fats has always been a demon, but he went to a whole other level after the death of one of his close friends. On May 27, 2016, an 800 member by the name of Pyro, real name Kevin Larry, was in the 5600 block of South Wabish playing dice with members of MOB. During the dice game, an argument would break out and an MOB member named Damo would pull out a gun and shoot Pyro to death. Damo would eventually be arrested and charged with Pyro's death. Pyro was just 22 years old when he passed away. Damo, real name Dominic Greer, was sentenced to 50 years in prison for the murder of Pyro. Pyro was one of Fat's closest friends, and losing him would make Fat's more bloodthirsty than ever. Pyro died and had me tweaking only 15, what the f***? Cried a lot, but turned it up. Mention Pyro name, now he did, better claim your bro. I remember I lost my first partner at 15, but at the same time, I knew at 15, I ain't want to be trying to do all that. These dudes don't care. They got the balls of a giant, real tough. These guys, dangerous, and the thing is, they really live their life. See, me, I was more about the money. I wasn't into the guns and all that. That wasn't my thing. Anything about some money, I was with it. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, I'm through with that lifestyle too on that. Because that resulted into just getting into things with niggas like him too. 
Cause I done been through that too. Then on the streets, you hang, you trying to make money, but they got do, niggas clicking out on the block and they tripping and disrespecting. You down, I got to bust a cap, but it's like you got to hold your composure. But you down, I really got to got to bust a cap. It's wild out here, it get crazy in the streets. Even if you is just trying to get some money, niggas go to tripping and fucking with you. Then now you got to bust a nigga ass. Now you a killer now, and you was just trying to get some money. But that's how I go. It be crazy. On January 2nd, 2020, a gun trade between members of 800 and members of Murder Town was set to take place. A Murder Town member named Curio, real name Taivo Qualls, was allegedly meant to trade guns with Fats. Based on hits that 800 members gave out in their music, Curio was allegedly acting suspicious during the trade, and this led to Fats and another 800 member by the name of Little Twin not going through with the trade, and instead allegedly gunning down Curio and taking his gun from him. Curio was shot in the leg, wrist, and neck, and he was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center, where he was tragically pronounced dead at just 18 years old. Shortly after the death of Curio, 800 members would post pictures of themselves online holding his gun. Curio, Fats and 800 would allegedly take another Don't never let nobody know you got a gun. Especially these duck ass niggas out here. Because they'll try to go with the mood. You just don't say that. You know, for all that. Like, you ain't got to let nobody know you got no gun. Because then you don't have to step on something. You know? But if you don't care, then hey. But I mean, you don't need to let nobody know you got a gun. Unless you really need to use it. Unless your life really in danger. You don't need to just be wilding like that. Don't need to be carrying that like that either. Because if you get caught and go to jail with that shit, I hope you make a bad decision because you're always carrying that gun. That might get cost you too. So, of course, what I'm saying, you got to know how to think when and how and what. Stop being timid. Stop being scary. Just be a man. Eight hundred allegedly set up another gun trade, this time with a member of a gang called Face World 069 named Bando Hothead, also known as Hottie, real name Damian Rogers. The trade would go through successfully, but as Hothead turned his back, Fats and other eight hundred members would allegedly snake him and shoot him multiple times while he wasn't looking. Hothead was shot in the head, groin, and back, and tragically pronounced dead on the scene at just 17 years old. Shortly after the death of Bando Hothead, 800 would take a big loss of their own. On October 11, 2020, an 800 member by the name of Boss Smooth, real name Jeremiah McCoy, was on the 8600 block of the Southside Chatham neighborhood at the Shell gas station. He was sitting in the passenger seat of a car when a blue sedan pulled up near him and let off over 30 shots out of a Draco. Boss Smooth was shot in the head and the sedan drove away traveling northbound on State Street. He was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center where he tragically died at just 25 years old. It is widely rumored that members of the gang Mixed Mob were responsible for Boss Moose's death. <laughs>